I want you to look at me as you're standing at this altar. I'm 55 years old, and I feel like my life has already exceeded my dreams. Not because of any lucky breaks, not because of winning any special favor, not because of getting some rich inheritance. No, 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 no. I feel like my life has exceeded my dreams. Because at an early age, I bought into the fact that God has a plan for my life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, plans for a bright hope and a future. And I bought into that. And today I can stand before you and say, you know what? I love life. I can't promise you that life is going to be hassle-free. Nobody can. I can't promise you that life is not going to come with some disappointments. Good people may hurt you. Church may not even disappoint you. But when you find yourself in that sweet spot of living in that place where God has purposed for you to live, that's the greatest place to be. And that starts by accepting Christ's invitation to come into your life and not only forgive you of your sins, but He wants to do life for you. Boys and girls, all the days of your life, God has a wonderful plan for your life. And I pray that as you grow up, you'll keep in your mind that your determination is to follow Him. Adults, some of you may feel like, you know what, my past, I, I've blown it so much. Can God really use me? Listen, God can't change your past and neither can you. But He can script a very beautiful future if you'll let Him. Because the steps of the righteous are ordered up by the Lord. So don't let the enemy remind you of your past. You let Jesus start talking to you about your future. You let the Lord reprogram your mind so that you see the purposes of God in your life. I pray that you'll put yourself in a position to discover what it means to accept Jesus' invitation to want to do life with you. He said to Zacchaeus, I want to go to your house. Nowhere else in Scripture. One other time to his sister. But nowhere else do you see Jesus saying, hey, I want to go to your house. But he did it. He did it to somebody who was a tax collector, who was a cheat, and who was ostracized by a community. And so if he's willing to go to the, to the house of someone that nobody else wanted to go to, then I'm confident Jesus is willing to come to my house. Father, I pray your hand of blessing, your hand of favor, your hand of understanding on each and every one of these. From the youngest child to perhaps an adult who has been wrestling with guilt. And today they're leaving this guilt at this altar and they're accepting your invitation to come and to do life. I pray your hand of favor. I pray your blessing. I pray that spiritual prosperity to come over them as they submit and surrender themselves to your Lordship. I pray these things in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Lord Richard, bless you.